Brent and Sarah, advocates say there are several factors, but lingering effects of the pandemic and increasing rents are among some of the biggest reasons why homelessness is increasing. On a single night in January, 3,015 people in Connecticut were without a home, a nearly 3% increase from the previous year, marking two years in a row that the amount of people experiencing homelessness has gone up. We're seeing more people than ever um, just just not have the resources to sustain. The Connecticut Coalition to End Homelessness says the point in time count is a federally mandated annual survey of how many people are experiencing homelessness in one night at the beginning of the year. CEO Sarah Fox says it's typically a much lower count than what the reality is. Historically, our numbers are always higher um, annually and just daily than what's reflected in the point in time count. The count is not reflective of the need or what we're seeing in our communities. She points to a few different reasons why the increase is happening. One being the end of pandemic relief, another being a lack of affordable housing. Housing is a huge issue here in Connecticut. The lack of affordable housing um, is, it's the case all across the state in every single community. According to a new report from the National Low Income Housing Coalition, those making minimum wage in Connecticut would have to work 69 hours a week to afford a one bedroom apartment. You can understand how close people are to that edge of not being able to make the rent and then falling behind and then the eviction goes through and then people lose their apartment and are couch surfing or staying in shelters or sleeping in their cars. Luke Milanakos Harrison with the Connecticut Tenants Union says the increase in homelessness does not come as a surprise to advocates. When shelters are full, when folks can't double up with family, uh, when those financial margins are just too narrow, uh, unfortunately, some people end up unsheltered outside, which should outrage all of us. Advocates say reaching solutions will take a unified effort. We are a better, stronger state if people and families are housed in every community across the state. The Connecticut Coalition to End Homelessness is also calling for more funding to address the problem. Right now, the CEO says one of their biggest concerns is the winter that's coming up because they don't have the resources to be able to respond. In the studio, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.